this here, this here is Clarice. And she would, she would taste good with some Chianti. <laughs> and dipped in ranch. <laughs> I think she knows, I think she knows we're wanting to snap her neck and eat her. <laughs> <laughs> you ever met Colonel Sanders? She wouldn't be here if she did. Don't you, don't you look at me like you're gonna jump up. pecking on my legs, Sam. Well, this is gonna become a nuisance. <laughs> Where's Coop? Right, Coop will run him out of here. Coop be like, hey, you take my food, it'll be the last thing you ever eat. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, don't look at me like that. Man, you are ugly. Scram. You jump on me with them claws and they, I'm gonna snap them off. My grandpa, he had a rooster in Michigan. Hey, hey, those are expensive tires. Stop it, stop hey. it. Thing's name was Lucky. In the end, he was not so lucky. My grandpa used to make me go out and collect the eggs and that rooster was the meanest son of a bitch north of the freaking uh, Mason Dixon. I would go out there as a 10, 12, 11, nine year old, whatever I was, and that rooster, I'd look around, I'd be looking through the coop, nowhere to be found. I'd go start getting eggs and he'd come out from the ceiling and jump on the back of my neck and peck me in the top of the head and claw me into my shoulders and the back of my neck. And finally, once my grandpa got sick of him being so mean and nobody wanted to go out there, he let me kill that son of a gun. <laughs> and we ate him. I don't, I don't remember if we ate him, but I'm sure we did. He was mean. Look, Sally, there ain't nothing over here. I done told your friends, picking me on the leg. <laughs> They're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hayden, Hayden's got some special needs uh, chickens. <laughs> These are city chickens. <laughs> Sally just wear me out over here. All right, Butch, got some fan mail. So, so, I'll go ahead and let you uh, do the honors. Looks like somebody <laughs> liquid watermelons. <laughs> it's, oh, it's auto wash. So. Yeah. Oh, cool. Li okay. Oh, would you just look at it? It's a handle for a <laughs> pressure washer. What? Oh, and it, oh, and the. Uh, What's this here? What? Oh, that, is that, that's for an attachment for, for the, the soap. Soap, yeah. Oh, new nozzles. Sweet. Sweet. Heck yeah. And it's, and it's not plastic. Well, who sent this? Merry Christmas to you both. Hope this makes washing the turds easier. <laughs> <laughs> now both, uh, now they both will look turd-tastic. Try some Teflon tape on the wand to stop it from leaking so bad. From Cherokee. Oh, Brazil, uh, which is a uh, twisted trucker on yeah. uh, YouTube. Cherokee. It's one of our loyal wow. risk takers members. Yeah. That is freaking awesome. So he must have saw that video. <laughs> nice. Sponge-tastic. Found soon. Thanks. Yeah, thank you so much for this uh, this fan mail here. It will get put to use, let me tell you. Heck These yeah. things are dirty. What's going on with this carburetor? Just ordered a new carburetor. It is not producing any vacuum. Sprayed starting fluid all around it to all around all the openings trying to find a vacuum leak and we can't find it nowhere. But it's definitely something wrong with the vacuum because the carburetor won't even create any. Yeah, once we, we pull off the vacuum lines while it's running, it just no change whatsoever. So as of right now, we have a new carb coming. I mean, we got to run fair. It's running really advanced and I can't figure out why. Every time I back it back down to where it should be, <coughs> it, it goes to dying. Yeah. Uh, and I've located top dead center. I made sure that the 
the balancer mark was exactly where it's supposed to be, and it is. I checked all the wires, I checked all the plugs, I checked everything. I checked the distributor, I checked the gap on the points. And we've got small coolant leak here, I believe it's the hose, hope it's the hose. It might have just been a cold leak because we hadn't started it in about a week or so. Still got this valve uh, cover bolt. That's this. Uh, it, the head has the uh, the where the bolt goes is all wallered out. Other than that, and the temperature gauge still not working. The temperature gauge. Uh, we put a new gauge in it. It's got a, the rear of the dash has the circuit board on it, brand new. The wiring's brand new. The thermostat or the uh, temperature sensor is brand new. The wiring going to it's brand new. <laughs> so we've got some of the square body boys coming out this week to help us out. See what's yeah. happening. John Fox and the square body crew. Hang out with them <laughs> fellers. That's right. Cool Hopefully I don't get as drunk as I did last time and can't <laughs> use the footage. <laughs> Cabaret It must smell like food because look who's coming. Coop Monojet on it. I think this mother here is, is a Chinese copy because see there's nothing on there. Mm. No numbers, nothing. Right, yeah, we we had to we had to research to figure yeah. out even what yep. what brand or uh, this one's got all of the numbers and everything. It's yep. Rochester, Monojet, made in the USA, yada yada. Heck yeah, it's the United States. I'm reaching the depths of my mechanical knowledge. <laughs> we're, not, we're not? We're not mechanics, okay? And, and I've already said that I'm dumb and stupid. I'm a pretty stupid guy. So, with that being said, uh, we, that uh, timing issue is driving me bananas. I know where top dead center is, so I, I, I'm gonna reset the valves and get it all set back up the way it's supposed to be, put the new carburetor on there and see what happens. You know what I think it is? I know what it is. For one thing, neither one of us are mechanics. For two, somebody stuck a penny on here. Right. And that's what it is, it's got too much it's copper. It's got the wrong penny. <laughs> got too much copper it's the wrong penny parts plus jacked us up with the wrong penny yeah we or we <laughs> ordered that penny from parts plus a 1974 penny and i i bet you it's a 75. well I, it probably it's probably a 74 and a half yeah yeah this was this was late model that's an early model penny <laughs> A little chilly today. Butch actually closed the door because he got a little chilly because- Freaking wind's like 8,000 miles per hour today. Because he dresses like he's a teenager in, in high school, like he doesn't want anybody to know he owns a coat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. So uh, we're taking uh, Cherokee's uh, little gift. Yeah building ourselves a new handle and everything yeah. for this fancy harbor freight portland pressure washer that we've been having trouble with it was leaking all over everybody and every time anybody used it it leaked all over one of our favorite loyal fans said man i need to help these clowns out and butch bought a new hose for it because butch loves hose <laughs> <laughs> We got Chase here today, uh, the web guy. Heck yeah. He's been working on our website, getting all that stuff together, the membership page, the partnership page. A lot of, a lot of new things coming. Uh, we got the Square Body guys coming out today. Yeah. They're, they're gonna help us out with some uh, fine tuning and probably drink some beer. And some beers. And some beers. What do you wanna watch? You wanna watch us just sit here or at my house and uh, just tear down a motor and trans. Do you want to see us uh, build a golf cart? I don't care. Just let us know. Just don't don't say build the General Lee because we can't we can't afford it. <laughs> or poor. We're trying to do something. We're trying to build up our channel and be entertaining and do it for free, pretty much. <laughs> but we could we could buy we could buy an old motor or something. So if you know somebody, you want to donate something. 
you can go to the website, you can donate to us so we can get something bigger. And you we know. can buy the parts from Parts Plus. But we really want to know what you guys want to see us do, for real. Really like, want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Have you ever seen Lorraine? <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. Damn sure throw this on the ground. Don't yeah. spill our lunch. Step lightly. Alright, now I want to see you do the code. No. I'm just kidding, don't do it. <laughs> Have a stroke, man. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh. I can't believe it. He's like, I did a trick, man. You better give me something. We found the problem. Yeah. Gecko. The damn gecko in our fuel gauge. <laughs> Yeah, we got a little bit of video of that. Yeah. I'm sure you just watched it. <laughs> it's over there. Yeah, yeah, it's over there where we, we were. Yeah, yeah. I think I was standing right here. That one guy, he, he brought out a manual. It looked like Doc Brown dropped it off from 1880. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? It was all yellow. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Uh, these guys, man, they, they know what they're doing. Way Absolutely. more. One guy had a box that looked like an Atari. It had all needles on it. Yeah, dwell, <laughs> yeah, dwell meter. It was pretty awesome. John Fox, uh, Charles. Uh, we had Tim out here. Tim just kind of hung out, and drank Chris. some beer. Chris. Yeah. You all saw it. We were ahead of live. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We went live. I might have had a few uh, highlights. <laughs> What's it to you? Cooper. Hayden said we can't feed you anymore because you're on medication because you're too fat. Actually, I don't know why, but we can't, Coop. We got nothing for you, buddy. I'm sorry. Please don't stop coming by, though. That's it for this episode of Risky Business. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and if you want, we have a Rumble account. Go over there, check it out. We'll see you next time. Deuces. Deuces.